If you were given an opportunity to travel through time, would you time travel forwards or backwards? Would you rather have innovation and technology at its full potential in the future, or would you rather live and unveil monumental parts of history in the past? Well, for one person, this isn't just a thought exercise. He claims to have done it. He also claims to go back in time and witness one of history's greatest moments with his own eyes, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. This is the story of Father Pellegrino Ernetti and his time-traveling machine, the Chronovisor. Pellegrino Maria Ernetti, born in 1925, was a Roman Catholic who joined the Benedictine order at the young age of 16. While he was known to have been a good priest, scientist, and musician, he was mainly known for two things, exorcism and the chronovisor. During his time, Pellegrino was known as the most famous exorcist in Venice. Beyond Venice, though, Ernetti is most well known for his time-traveling machine, the chronovisor. The chronovisor remains one of Vatican's greatest mysteries, with rumors saying that Ernetti used this machine to view important events in the Christian history with his own eyes. Ernetti, along with many scientists, claims to have made the chronovisor through combining ancient occult knowledge and modern scientific advancements to provide the Vatican with information about certain historical events. Peter Krasa, a journalist, published a book in 1997, originally released in German, entitled Die Schicksal ist vorher bestimmt, literally meaning, your destiny is foretold, which details the information currently known about the chronovisor. The book was later translated to English under the title The Creation and Disappearance of the World's First Time Machine on March 1, 2000. This book features previously unreleased documents, such as the first Latin-to-English translation of the text of Thyestes, a now-lost tragedy from Rome in 169 BC. Ernetti was said to have brought it back himself. In addition, Vatican priest Father Francois Brun was in full support of the chronovisor's existence. Ernetti died at the age of 69 in 1994, and while his death was reportedly peaceful, Many speculate whether this peacefulness was natural or done by force to silence Ernetti in order to conceal the secrets of the chronovisor. While not much is known about Ernetti himself other than having a boisterous career in the field of music and being proficient at exorcism, his claim to having made a time-traveling machine has left an impact not only on the Christian community, but the speculative population as a whole. To say that the chronovisor is a time-traveling machine wouldn't be entirely correct, though it wouldn't be incorrect either. If by time-traveling machine you mean transporting a person to another time period to allow them to live that era in person, then the chronovisor isn't a time-traveling machine by that definition. However, if you define a time-traveling machine as a device that allows users to peer into either the past or future, then the chronovisor is a time-traveling machine. The chronovisor is described as a time viewer that had the ability to film and capture images from the past without sound. Think of it more as a window to the past than a time machine, a device capable of displaying scenes from a specific time in the past. It's unsure whether the chronovisor is capable of viewing events in the future, as only reports of events from the past have been observed by Ernetti. While a blueprint of this device exists in the public domain, it's not exactly clear how the machine functions. The chronovisor is reported to have been built by a team of 12 scientists, most of which go unnamed, but includes famed physicist Enrico Fermi and former Nazi scientist Werner von Braun, who helped Ernetti construct the device. Fermi was noteworthy, as he received a Nobel Prize in physics in 1938, while von Braun was part of the NASA team that allowed America to step on the moon. While the concept of a time-traveling machine is seemingly impossible, with a team of these renowned scientists, it lessens the gap of fiction and reality. The machine itself was composed of antennae made out of mysterious metals, which were responsible for receiving light and sound signals on every wavelength responsible for tuning into a specific time and place. Additionally, there was a screen and recording device that allowed the user to capture any moments they wanted. Ernetti claims to have observed many historical events, some of which he has proofs of observing. 
As mentioned earlier, Ernetti claims to have watched parts of Thyestes during his televisual travels, publishing fragments of what he observed from the play. He also claims to have seen ancient Rome during its prime. Ernetti was also able to recount how he witnessed Marcus Tullius Cicero's speech to the Roman Senate in 63 BC. Other speeches Ernetti claims to have watched are those of Mussolini and Napoleon. The boldest and most famous historical event he claims to have witnessed through the chronovisor, however, is the crucifixion of Jesus Christ in AD 33. On May 2nd, 1927, through an Italian magazine called La Domenica del Corriere, Ernetti published a shocking image that surprised many, especially the religious, the never-before-seen face of a crucified Jesus Christ. While its legitimacy is heavily contested, this is what Ernetti considers as the prime proof of the chronovisor's time-traveling abilities, because nobody saw the chronovisor machine itself. In addition to this, Ernetti also claims that he witnessed the Last Supper and kept a photograph of the event for himself as a souvenir. Though unlike his claim of seeing Christ's crucifixion, evidence for this has not been provided by Ernetti. The Vatican has been silent on the issue of the chronovisor, though many speculate that the Vatican may have forcefully silenced Ernetti to ensure that a time-traveling machine remains a secret to the public while being exclusive to the Vatican's possession. It's been rumored that Ernetti went back in time for the Vatican to capture exclusive images of historical Christian events, such as the crucifixion of Christ. Even for fervent Christians, the claim of a time machine able to see historical events, especially Christian events, is too good to be true. Many of Ernetti's claims have been debunked by multiple sources. For instance, many skeptics claim that Ernetti's photograph of Christ crucified is merely a cheap replica of a statue located in an Umbrian church. An unnamed magazine also argues that the photo was just a reversed image of a postcard from the Santuario dell'Amore Misericordioso, a shrine in Cole Valenza, Italy. In a 1996 Paracelsus magazine issue, Ernetti's claims have been critiqued and questioned. The magazine states that the lack of detailed instructions on the device's blueprint heavily hurts the device's legitimacy. In addition, the same magazine reveals the striking resemblance of the machine to a fictional machine from a 1947 sci-fi novel. There are conflicting rumors regarding Ernetti's final statements before his death in 1994. Some sources claim that until his deathbed, Ernetti was certain the Vatican was trying to suppress the existence of the chronovisor from leaking while some sources claim that Ernetti confessed in his final moments that the chronovisor was completely made up. Regardless, a definite answer is impossible to settle on, as the people involved such as Krasa, Braun, Fermi, Von Braun, and Ernetti himself have all passed on. According to The Guardian, Ernetti's glory was short-lived. Another magazine revealed that Christ was a reversed image of a postcard from the Santuario dell'Amore Misericordioso, in the town of Colavalenza. More recently, doubt has been cast on his transcription of Thyestes, and an apparent deathbed confession has also surfaced. The idea of a time machine able to play back important historical events is ethereal. It opens the doors to tons of possibilities, such as recalling specific historical details, recording photographic evidence, and much more. However, as grand and novel as the idea is, it may only remain in people's dreams. One, because it is seemingly impossible to create such a craft, and two, if it did exist at one point, it certainly is under the wraps of the Vatican, fearing that this powerful device may be used for harm rather than for good. Although the existence of Chronovisor is still up for debate, what we do know is that the imagination of the human mind alone can take us places we couldn't have imagined. Despite the convenience of having a chronovisor, a modern chronovisor now exists thanks to technological advancements in the form of televisions, smartphones, and digital cameras. Since their inception, recording and going back to the past has no longer been an issue. So while we don't have a chronovisor yet, modern technology might be our best bet to take us back there. <laughs>